Hi, my name is Dan Hotman, and I'm one of your instructional coaches in the Palmdale School District. And we're going to take a look at how to post grades to the progress report and the report card because it's the same process. So the first thing you can tell is I'm already in Infinite Campus, and we've had a lot of emails coming in about not being able to see very much of what I'm showing. And what you might realize is that in that the enable classroom navigation is turned on, we want that turned off. And that'll kind of kick it into a different view. So now that I have that turned off, I'm going to come over to instruction and I'm going to go into the gradebook. So the process is exactly the same. You can tell that I'm already in my math class. Um, you can see that there's the post button. I'm going to go ahead and hit the post button. And remember that we are always working in S1. P1, which is the term we're gonna post to, is where we take the snapshot of where our report card or our progress report is at this point. So I'm gonna post the term P1. The task is a progress grade. There's the students. Obviously, you'll have a whole lot more students than I will. And then press OK. And what you'll notice is you'll see the student with the grade and this is where you would put any comments that you want for math on the report card um, you can use the canned comments which is the cc ones so i'm going to say cooperative on task and shows a high motivation and interest and those will all be right there and now i can save it and i've posted that grade to the report card so that's one way of posting grades here's the second way I'm gonna go into instruction and right underneath gradebook, I'm gonna to go to post grades. Now I would recommend this for um, effort grades. I would recommend this for all of kinder grades or TK grades, anywhere where you can fill in all the grades and then change individual grades um, as you need to. So in post grades, because we're posting it to P1, I'm gonna stay in P1. Now let me go to my kinder uh, homeroom, and this is where it kind of gets tedious with all the different work habits. I'm gonna wanna fill those in with the grade, and in this case, I'm gonna do satisfactory. Now again, I only have the single student, but if you had multiple students, which I know you do, you'll be able to fill all those in for all those students. So I'm gonna pick the grade, and I'm gonna say fill. All students with active tasks will be updated, continue, okay. And now I've got the S in there. If there are students that you need to change, so if let's say I had multiple students and I got to this one and this one is an outstanding, I can change those individually. Or if it needs to improve, I can change that individually. It's completely up to you how you wanna do that. But it allows you to go through and just mass drop that down for everybody and then you can go through and add in um, any changes for the individual students. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna come back here, let's do that process again. So now I'm in work habits. I'm gonna fill that in with the grade, satisfactory, and fill. Okay, and there it is, save. Now if you wanted to do that for the effort grades for math, so let me go to my math, um, grade book that we were looking at earlier and so you can see there's the B grade that we had earlier I'm going to change that over to effort and again if I'm obviously if you have more students you're going to fill this in the grade to satisfactory um, if you want to have a comment that goes to all students you can do that here as well so for example if I want my third grade to work on whoops work on your multiplication skills or you can say facts and when I fill that to everybody they'll all get that so those are the two ways that I would do grades um, and you would just continue to move through on the section and on the task um, and get everything filled in now, if you want to check and make sure report cards are, are, are being done correctly, if you want to spot check them. So I'm going to go to Leroy's. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Leroy's name. And I'm going to go to student information. Here's everything about Leroy Jethro Fido. 
And on the right hand side here, I'm going to scroll down and go to grades. And there's a couple ways I can check. The first way is to make sure that these are blue. So this is P1, math effort, math progress. He already has a semester grade that's in, con that's working in conjunction with the P1, which is what we know. But if I want to see the whole report card, I'm going to come here to reports. This is a third grade student. So I'm going to pick the progress one report for grades one through five. And there it is. And so I can see that there is the math grade. So I know it's all coming in the way it's supposed to. There's the progress. There's the effort. So two ways to input grades, two ways to check on progress of your grading system and making sure that everything's moving over. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'm more than happy to help you out. Have a great day. Thank you.